Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I've been making some really yummy, simple meals lately. First one is pancakes. I'm just following the directions on the bag, except instead of using an egg, I'm just gonna make a flax egg. But I did it the very lazy way. You're normally supposed to add one part flax to three part water, and you can do the same thing with chia seeds. Let it sit for 15 minutes, it gets a little bit gooey, and then add it to the batter but I just added it straight to the batter and I didn't think that it made that big of a difference. Also adding some cacao nibs for some crunchy texture, some defrosted frozen bananas, and a lot of cinnamon. This is the way that I like it. And this is Bob's Red Mill gluten-free pancake mix. You can use any kind you want, obviously, but this is just such an easy breakfast option. And I also added some oats while my pan was preheating to medium heat. And I did the pancake thing, just ladled some batter on there, and oh my god, look at the beauty. One of my favorite things is like tapping the back of a pancake like such. Using a nonstick pan is great, you don't have to use oil. I personally don't like super oily, buttery pancakes. And I made myself a little short stack and poured some maple syrup on top. I also like to add some chia and flax seeds, those extra omega-3s and iron. And I also added some frozen blueberries. This is just a really good option for school. It took me less than four minutes to make and less than four minutes to eat. And then you'll also have a lot of batter left over for the week or if you're craving them for dessert later that night. I don't know, I don't judge you. I have been missing mac and cheese so much, so I found this amazing recipe. It's one fourth cup of water, and it's one steamed potato, one fourth of a red pepper. You can use an orange pepper. I started doing this because it looks more like cheese. And steamed potato, and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. You can obviously add however much you want. And then I used onion, garlic, and salt in there as well added some broccoli to my shells, and I also made this with really yummy spinach fettuccine noodles, and it was like really freaking delicious. So yeah, experiment with the different kinds of noodles that you want to use, it's super fun. And then I added the cheese sauce. The potato is what makes it super creamy, so the bigger potato that you use, the creamier it'll be. I also like to add hot sauce because that's just traditionally what I always did with my mac and cheese. And you can also add nutritional yeast to the top for that extra cheesy taste. This next one is really, really simple. It's just white rice and nori. It's, it's sushi, you guys. I added some sesame seeds, and then I added carrots and spiralized beets. And I haven't been using soy sauce, I've been using liquid aminos, and this is just a really yummy, healthy option. Once again, you can take this to school and just make it really quickly. Hey, I hope you liked that vegan food video. Um, and back on the HCLF train. Although these recipes were very starchy, carby meals, I have been eating a lot of salads, a lot of wraps, and I'm just not an exciting salad person. So I didn't want to show that. I have very basic, simple salads, no dressing, and I just love it that way. But yes, I have lost some weight, but these are just the fun recipes that I've been eating lately. And I, there's something about the cold winter time. It's not even cold outside. It's literally like 73 degrees. But there's just something about the fall and winter that makes me crave comfort food so much, like mac and cheese and pancakes. I just uh, have been so feeling the cozy, yummy foods lately and the only reason that I really wanted to go back on the HCLF diet is because I was just binge eating and also just eating oily foods and eating junk food a lot and not having any kind of guideline just doesn't work for me I'm someone who really needs some kind of structure and so to have that in my diet and just know like okay I'll have a little bit of hummus on my veggie wrap or um, I'll have like a little bit of ice cream or something. I don't know. It was just, it's nicer for me to have a little bit of a diet. I've been looking into my Kundalini diet and I'm just an oily person in general. My skin is combination, my hair, I can't wash it every day, otherwise it gets too oily. And I was eating a lot of almonds and nuts and seeds and that was making me break out so much. So when I stopped doing that, going HCLF, it's just really been helping my skin, which is really nice. And yeah, I always say eat whatever feels good for you and whatever intuitively like makes your body feel at ease and digest well, it gives you energy, so just listen to yourself. But either way, no matter what diet you may or may not be on, if you're vegan or not, 
try these recipes because they're really really simple so i've been listening to this book that is called the plant paradox i recommend it to vegans and non-vegans and it is so good and so eye-opening like next level health book because it talks about all these things that are deemed healthy that actually aren't the best for us and why and it's so amazing i highly recommend it and i use my own audible code for it this video is not sponsored by audible but if you haven't tried audible yet you can get this book for free and i'll have it linked down below just so that you can listen and check it out and get educated for free i just love learning about food i love learning about my own body and my own shifts with what i need to fill my body with i know when i first went vegan I was eating whatever I wanted, I lost so much weight, and then um, I moved to New York and there was all these yummy vegan restaurants and my body could just digest everything totally fine, there was no bloating. And then I went HCLF, I was eating so many potatoes, my body was still like just doing good. And then after a few months of being HCLF and eating a lot of starchy carbs, which is what I saw every other high carb, low fat vegan doing, my body just couldn't do it anymore. And so then I started focusing on more nutrient dense meals and then my body got back to digesting normally. And so that's kind of what I'm doing now. I was just like letting myself eat whatever I wanted all the time, which was fun. But yeah, I just wanted to lose a few pounds and just feel lighter and more energetic. And I'm doing my yoga teacher training soon. So I've been doing more yoga, which has also probably helped me lose weight. I don't think that I'm fat or too skinny. I just wanted to like feel a little bit lighter. I don't even weigh myself, but I just know that I've lost weight because like different clothes are fitting me now. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me that you're spending this time with me again. And I will be posting another vegan food video very soon on how to make yummy, healthy vegan pizza. I'm really, really excited. And that'll be up in maybe next week. So thank you guys so much. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye.